The spirit of heightened nationalism was embodied in old emperors, enshrined in national myths. The values of the old order, pride, power, territory, were reasserted. And old rivalries between nations were renewed. Governments encouraged people to see their neighbors as foes. The Germans were our enemies, and we were aware of the threat of war with Germany, aware that Germany had a powerful army which was preparing for war, and war against us first, against France. The mass of ordinary people fell in behind their leaders. The energy and science of the new age were now turned over to an arms race. Only five years after Blériot's pioneering flight, his company was making aircraft for the French army. After 40 years of peace, war seemed inevitable. More young men than ever were learning to fight. By 1914, over 25 million were trained and ready. We were brought up to spell duty with a big D. And our duty was to God and our country. And that was the end of the matter. A complex web of treaties ensured that if one country was attacked by another, then the whole continent would be dragged into conflict. July 1914, the funeral of the heir to the Austrian throne shot by a Serbian nationalist in Sarajevo. Austria declared war on Serbia. The people of Europe held their breath. Then, one by one, the alliances came into play. Russia mobilized against Austria. Sergei Butsko remembers talking to his brother that day. You could already feel the strain and mood of impending disaster in the air. I asked him, do you want this war to happen? Yes, I do, he answered. Me too, I said. We really didn't have the slightest idea what was going to happen to us. In Paris, where the hopes of 1900 had been focused, news of general mobilization reached the streets on August the 2nd. Europe was at war. The century had begun with hopes that material progress and political freedoms would change people's lives. In fact, it was four years of war that would trigger the greatest changes, changes beyond the wildest dreams or nightmares of the people of the new century. <laughs> 